The latest statistics from the World Health Organization indicate that about a quarter of Kenyan women aged 15 years and above are either overweight or obese. In contrast, only about 7% of men in the same age group suffer from the conditions. Obesity is a lifestyle disease and Dr. Helen says is a choice because one has a part to decide what they put in their mouth. Lakini uwezi pata wanaume wawili wanaenda kukaa kwa kuchoma nyama na wanakula kilo nusu watu wawili. Kwa hivyo wanakula nyama choma mingi, wanakunywa bia mingi, alafu pia na you know, kila kitu ni kukula mingi mingi mingi. Hiyo inaleta uzito kabisa. It's not only junk food that causes obesity. Doctors say some of the food we eat at home can also cause obesity, especially if we are not careful about the quantity we serve. Mtu anatakana akule nyama tuseme inatoshana hivi. Kiasi kidogo kutoshana na hapa mkono yako hivi, okay? Sandy say that our stomach are the size of two fists, so we should generally eat portions that match the two fists. The stomach has some stretching allowance and once it is stretched, it is very hard to go back to its normal size, which leads to a bulging waist. And parents can be playing even a bigger role than they think when it comes to obesity in children. Though it may not be all doom and gloom as obesity in minors are in decline due to excessive breastfeeding compared to adults. For me, I like it because it's just nice, it's tasty. Are you, yes. are, you, are you eating healthy yourself? Mm, yes. What? I eat fruits. I eat vegetables. Naona mama anatembea na mtoto wake amenona sana hata mtoto hawezi kutembea vizuri, hata mtoto hawezi kupumua vizuri. Kwa nini unawacha mtoto wako anafika mali kama hiyo? Fast foods joints is the order of the day in the central business district and a quick fix for the majority of the Nairobians. 12 p.m. in the heart of Nairobi and a different scenario presents itself. For Onesmas Mongare, it has never been a problem choosing between fast foods and the healthier option of more natural foods, where chips, a quarter chicken and a cock will set you back 500 Kenyan shillings. We do take traditional during the week maybe, but during the weekend, most people have patin. So after patin or before patin, they can't take greens, so they prefer taking takaway, uh, chips, chicken, or nyamachoma. Yeah. Is it healthy? Um, depends on how often you have it. If you have it once in a while, and not every weekend, I guess it does no harm. Many can only opt for the quick, sweet, and cheaper fix. Hey, I guess it's healthy. That's okay. I don't know that. I just eat it because it's sweet. So, so the healthy, I'm not sure. And then also at home, you spend time preparing it. Here it's ready made. You just order and get it. Obesity attracts diseases such as hypertension, arthritis, and diabetes. It can also cause breast cancer in women. The health agency asserts that obesity and being overweight are the fifth leading risk of global deaths, with at least 2.8 million adults dying each year as a result of these conditions. It is an economical challenge that many Nairobians face every day. Pressure from the media and medical experts to eat healthier, one many remain aware of, but with the present economic crunch, where it is very difficult to eat good food for less than 100 settling for the cheaper option. <laughs> Unaona ya kwamba mtu anatafuta chakula ile ambayo anaweza kuimutu kutusema kama ugali ni chapati inakuwa rahisi sana kuliko eh, ugali. Sababu ngo ya ugali imepanda sana mpaka imefika hii kwangu ambacho hata uwezi kueleza. The possibility and probability of getting a cheaper healthier option over the more available fast option therefore remains the biggest challenge for most Nairobians. To the majority of Kenyans living in the urban areas, the high price of the fast foods and the health risks that come with it is not a factor. The factor is the testiness of the meal. Oh, Mao Nyango, KUTV, Nairobi.